Hi, this is Luis, Veristan Product Manager, and I'm here to show you the new Veristan 2015 SP1 with the UI Manager. The UI Manager comes directly with Veristan Installer that you can download from ni.com slash Veristan slash download. What I'm going to show you here today is some of the new features of the UI Manager. In order to do that, I need to connect the UI Manager to a project. We're going to run the project, and we'll see how both the UI Manager and the traditional workspace open at the same time, which means that we can use simultaneously both of them. However, for this demo, I'm just going to use the UI Manager. We can see how it's loading and how it gets connected directly to the, to the project. So we can see it's getting data, and we can send data to it. I'm going to start showing you the lobby. The lobby is where the version UI manager handles all the projects. As we can see, we have launch a project on Learn and Explore. So if we go to launch a project section, we can see and we can create a blank project or a project with a screen, as well as we can see the recent projects we have been running. And in learning, we can see that we have a demo, an engine demo, which is exactly the same that I'm going to show you. Now, to go back to the demo, we need to go to the up left section of the UI Manager and click in the arrow. Now, as we can see, the UI Manager is way different than the traditional workspace. However, it has the same functionality, so we can go to edit mode or run mode. So we can start adding functionality or moving the, the items. The first thing to, that I want to show you is in the UI Manager, we can see our system definition palette right in the, in the left side, which gives us the capability to add different indicators or controls directly dragging them from the system definition. We also have, pretty similar to what we have, we can add them directly from the palette. Then we can just search for the channel we want to add. Whenever we want to create a professional user interface and we start moving the objects around, we see how this thin blue line appears to tell us that our controls or indicators are aligned. So this makes it easier to create these user interfaces in less time. Now, what I'm going to do, I want to show you how can I start sending and retrieving data from the burst and engine. So as we can see, I set it up, the desired RPM, and I just started cruise control. And we can see how it starts changing, sending and retrieving data from the project. We can change the parameters of the graph so we can see it better. I just make a thicker lane so we're able to watch it. I want to show you how to change the size and the aspect of the controls. So basically, while we're in the edit mode, we just need to select which control we want to change. Once we have it, we can see in the right portion we have the item palette in which we can modify how it looks, the values, or the size. So we can change the color of the control so it, it match our needs. Also, we can change the size of it. So there's two ways. The first one, I can definitely just go there and move it around after I select it. Or we can go to the layout portion in the item palette. We can change the size. For example, I want 100 and 100. Now we have a larger control. And the main advantage of it is that we're going to specify exactly the size. And we can have the same size in all controls. We can also, if we have a numeric control, we can change the limits. For example, I have 10 RPM. So if we're targeting 5,000, that's why we cannot see them. However, I can change the scale factor I can match 
how it looks in the real cars. So you have five multiplied by a thousand, and then you have five thousand. Also, we added the functionality to undo. We just need to go Control C or click Edit Undo. So we can see how we can just start coming back from what we have. Now, after we saw how to change controls, I'm going to start talking about how to add them. One of the functionalities that we have been asked for a while is to have this tabular screen tab control. So right now, we can have different tabs. We can name them however we want. And we can separate it so we can see both screens at the same time. gonna put it back and I'm gonna show you how we, different ways to add a control we've seen that we can add more than one channel directly from the system definition but sometimes the type of control is not the one I need so all I have to do is select the channels I want to add right click and select the type of indicator I want in this case it is a chart and if I want to add an extra channel I just need to go ahead and drag it directly into the chart indicator. As you can see, right now we have the three channels in the same chart. We're going to add a control directly from the controls palette in the left side. We're going to configure it. But we realized it's not the control we would like to have. I'll just need to go ahead, right click, go to the replace palette, and select the control or indicator that suits better my needs. We have sometimes controls that depend on each other. We would like to have them together. So that's why we created the canvas control to help us maintaining controls together. We can move them around. We can change the color. We can also copy paste the entire controls together. So it works like a cluster of controls. And that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching and please keep tuned to get more video demos.